Do you know what Isera is all about? Why do we celebrate this festival? Yes, of course I know, I can explain about it. I am curious to know about the festival in detail. Come let's talk while walking. A magnificent and enlightened prince by the name of Lord Rama once lived in ancient India. He was well recognized for his goodness, bravery, and commitment to morality. Princess Sita, his wife, shared his virtue and devotion to her husband. Beginning the tale of Dasara is a wicked demon king by the name of Ravana. Ravana was a formidable being with ten heads. To ensure that his rule would last forever, he sought immortality in his quest to govern the globe. After knowing about Princess Sita's beauty, Ravana made the decision to kidnap her and make her his queen. When Lord Rama and Sita were exiled in the wilderness, Ravana once pretended to be a sage in order to deceive Sita into leaving Lord Rama. Then he abducted her and carried her to Lanka, his kingdom. Lord Rama was devastated to know that Sita was missing. He swore to do whatever it took to get her back. In order to save Sita, Lord Rama embarked on a protracted and difficult journey with the assistance of his devoted brother Lakshmana and the knowledgeable monkey King Hanuman. Lord Rama and his army arrived at Lanka after a protracted journey during which they encountered numerous challenges. There, a big conflict erupted between Lord Rama's troops and Ravana's. Ten days passed throughout the conflict. Did Lord Rama won the battle? During the tenth day, today known as Dasara, Lord Rama engaged Ravana in a fierce combat. Lord Rama vanquished the terrible demon king and put an end to his reign of terror with the help of his divine arrows and remarkable abilities. Lord Rama's victory over Ravana stands in for the triumph of justice over wrong, truth over lies, and righteousness over wickedness. The inhabitants of Lord Rama's kingdom, Ayodhya, were ecstatic to know of his victory and eagerly anticipated his homecoming. The populace greeted Lord Rama, Sita, and Lakshmana with tremendous affection and pleasure when they arrived back in Ayodhya. To celebrate the success of their beloved prince, the entire kingdom was lit up with lamps and garlanded with flowers. Dasara is still enthusiastically and fervently observed throughout India. People gather to commemorate Lord Rama's courage and to uphold the principles of goodness and truth that he stood for. In public events, effigies of Ravana are burned to represent the triumph of good over evil. During Dasara, we celebrate togetherness, joy, and a reaffirmation of the value of righteousness in our lives. It is a celebration that encourages us to uphold the values of compassion and truth while speaking out against injustice. As a result, Dasara is still observed every year to serve as a reminder of the triumph of virtue over evil and of eternal moral principles. Seems Lord Rama have great values. Yes, you got it right. The Hindu epic Ramayana is Lord Rama, who plays a prominent role, is admired for being a personification of virtue and moral principles. Lord Rama's morals are frequently emphasized as examples of good behavior for people to adopt. Here are some of the key morals associated with Lord Rama. Dharma means righteousness. Lord Rama is often referred to as the personification of Dharma. He carried out his responsibilities as a son, a husband, and a king while upholding the highest standards of virtue. His commitment to the Dharma acts as an inspiration for his followers' conduct. Satya means truthfulness. Rama is admired for his uncompromising commitment to honesty. Even in the face of difficult circumstances, he always stood by the truth and his words were respected. Duty and sacrifice, as a son who accepted his father's orders to go into exile, a husband who rescued his kidnapped wife, or a king who put the needs of the people first, Lord Rama fulfilled all of his duties with the utmost dedication. His willingness to sacrifice his own happiness for the sake of the greater good becomes a moral lesson. Compassion and empathy, Rama showed compassion and empathy towards all living things, he was polite and courteous to everyone, regardless of their status in society. His interactions with enemies as well as friends demonstrated an empathetic and compassionate nature. Loyalty, it is often highlighted how steadfastly devoted Lord Rama was to his wife, Sita. Rama's loyalty to Sita and his efforts to save her, despite his concerns about her sincerity, serve as a reminder of the importance of loyalty in relationships. Humility, Rama exemplified humility while being a king and the embodiment of divinity. 
he treated everyone with respect and humility, recognizing the value of every person. Courage and Valor Rama exhibited extraordinary courage and valor, particularly in his efforts to save Sita from the demon king Ravana. His determination and courage serve as an example for conquering challenges with strength and bravery. Forgiveness Forgiveness is a quality attributed to Lord Rama. Even after conquering Ravana, he forgave his brother Vibhishana and gave him the authority to rule Lanka. This act of forgiveness exemplifies the moral value of letting go of grudges and promoting reconciliation. It's important to remember that different religious and cultural traditions may have distinct interpretations of the Ramayana and the ethical values associated with Lord Rama. The aforementioned ideas are some of the most frequently emphasized morals associated with Lord Rama. Hope you enjoy the video, thank you for visiting Kiddo Vision, please like and subscribe to the channel.